What is happening guys? Welcome to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we've got a pretty big haul to show off. I forgot to do a haul video last time, so we pretty much have double the amount of books that I usually show off. We've got some really good stuff here. We've got a couple omnibus, some hardcovers, a hardcover box set, a Dark Horse Library Edition, and more. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so most of these books are coming from the same online retailer where I've been buying my books from over the last four months or so because the prices are awesome, the packaging is awesome, and the customer service is awesome. So I highly recommend if you do live in Canada, head on over to pennywisebooks.ca, send up a personal message of whatever it is that you're looking for, and he will definitely make it happen. So moving along with the haul, we have a couple books that I have upgraded from trade paperback to now Omnibus, we have Spider-Man by Todd McFarlane. The classic Spider-Man run from 1990. This is right before Todd left Marvel Comics and went to form Image Comics and create Spawn. So this is some of my favorite Spider-Man. And I'm sure you guys have already read this. Next up for another Omnibus upgrade, we have my favorite Garth Innes, Steve Dillon story. We have Preacher Omnibus volume number two. So that's it, my Preacher is fully upgraded. The next up we have an awesome sci-fi dystopian story called Echo Lands. Very cool Image Comics hardcover. Let's check out some of this artwork here by J.H. Williams III. Absolutely breathtaking. All right, so next up we have a Dark Horse Library Edition, The Invisible Kingdom. This is a strange futuristic sci-fi story about materialism and this strange cult. A big selling point on this book for me was, as you can see here, it says Burger Books. Karen Berger from Vertigo Comics is the editor on this series. I picked up volume one, really enjoyed it, and then decided to commit to this library edition here. Let us take a look at some of the artwork. Very cool, I really enjoyed this one. Next up, we have The First Kingdom by Jack Katz. This is a futuristic post-apocalyptic story that I kind of went in blind on. Let's take a look at some of the artwork. It's pretty insane. It's heavily detailed, as you can see. Oh, there's way too much nudity in here. Oh well, no one's gonna give me a strike. No one watches this channel anyway. There is an insane amount of detail which really attracted me to this series. I'm gonna give it a try, and if I enjoy it, I'm gonna pick up the remaining volumes. I believe there are six books altogether. All right, so next up, we have The Complete Eight Ball by Daniel Klaus. He's either hit or miss for me. Either I really like his work, or I don't at all. I liked Wilson, I liked Ghost World, and a few other of his titles. But this one, a lot of people have been telling me to read. I definitely had it on my radar, so I finally did end up picking it up. And uh, I'm probably gonna read this next and I'll let you know if I liked it or not. Next up, we have the Lone Sloan box set by Philippe Drouet. This is freaking crazy, mind-blowing, psychedelic sci-fi. Let us get into it here. Three books here. We have Gale, The Six Voyages of Lone Sloan, and Delirious Volume One. Each volume comes with these small little cards I've been kind of using as bookmarks. Delirious is definitely my favorite of the three. Let's look at some of this artwork because it is insane. In case you are a fan of Jodorowsky books, Heavy Metal Magazine, Strange dystopian sci-fi. These should really be right up your alley. I am gonna be hunting down the rest of this dude's work because I really, really enjoyed these three books. And that is it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you in the next video. Take care.